Okay, it's getting dark, and I can't help that. This is one of the hardest things I've ever had to do, and I want to do it. Um, not all of my memories in New Orleans were positive, just like most people, you know, we all have our own version of crap and bad memories, and, uh, this is a neighborhood I wanted to come back to. I mean, it had, it had some good memories, but it held mostly bad memories for me, and it damaged me for most of my adult life until, until recently. And I've worked my whole life to overcome the pain that I suffered. It's getting darker, but these two houses or houses where I was sexually abused as a child for many years by different men. It started at the age of seven. It stopped when I was 13. And I know many people, this is going to shock the hell out of so many people. I'll probably lose a lot of friends on Facebook or whatever. And you know what? I don't care. Because this is closing a chapter. I'm standing here to close this freaking chapter in my life and look at these freaking places one more time and say, go to fucking hell. And then it can't hurt me anymore. But anybody out there who can relate to what I'm saying and who still suffers from trauma, from childhood sexual trauma, Please deal with it, and that's what I want to do. I want to help people. I want to pe help people who still need to heal. I want to help them through food and cooking to emotionally heal, and I can do that because I'm emotionally healing from it. And it's a lifetime process. Anybody who's been abused knows that. And a lot of people sweep it under that big rug. You know how we all own those big rugs and we sweep shit under it all the time. I don't want to sweep it under, under the rug anymore. So I'm here and I'm dealing with it. And I'm so glad I'm looking at these places. And I know that I'm an adult now. And I know that nothing can ever, ever hurt me again. Because I will never allow that. But when I was growing up and I was dropped off at these houses and being babysat, I didn't have a voice. I was so scared. I was told not to tell. I had just lost my father, and I was petrified, so I just went with it, and that's it. So that's all I have to say now. You can't hardly see it, but that's what I have to say about this, and you can, you can do what you want with it. But if anybody wants to reach out to me, if you think I can help you, I swear to God I will. And those of you who don't understand... I'm sorry, but I don't care.